ladies and gentlemen, you know, many of us know quite naturally we are treated far different online than anyone else. You know, just like over-policing happens on the streets, over-policing of the Black community is also happening online through artificial intelligence. So what they do is they put words in that Black people use. And of course, when their algorithm detect those words, then you are flagged for hate speech. You know, I knew this was going on for quite some time. I have not been on Facebook now for about a year and a half. And in that year and a half time that I've been off of Facebook, I've heard of numerous people going to Facebook jail. And also people been in Facebook jail multiple times, the same person. And I noticed an overabundance of black people were always in Facebook jail or having issues on Twitter or YouTube. Now you know why. See, what they're doing is they are going by natural language and what they deem as African American language. So any of the things that we naturally say Ladies and gentlemen, that's what they put in their algorithms as hate speech and for us to be flagged. But you have to understand one thing. The same people that over-police us out in the streets are the same ones working with the algorithms online. I promise you, these people don't look like us. So right off the bat, you're going to have a bias situation, and that's exactly what's going on. So Black people are being heavily targeted more than anyone else for hate speech. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what it really means is white people can come out on social media and pretty much say whatever they want. Black people are monitored and we cannot say anything we want. And if we do, it's hate speech and we get flagged. See, this is one more reason why Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter should be heavily dragged over this. And... Don't be naive, y'all. They knew this was going on. They knew it. Okay? It's not a coincidence that we're always the ones targeted for hate speech. <laughs> it's not a coincidence. And you do you know even when my case went, my court date came up, you know, that was one of the things that YouTube had said to me. They said, well... The robot made a mistake. Well, that's a problem. If you see flaws in your robot that you're using out here to scan your network day after day, and you're not fixing those flaws, then you're still guilty. You, you see the flaws and you just sit by, you, you just sit idly by and, and you do nothing to correct it. Or maybe you don't need the people that are training the artificial intelligence to be the ones to train the intelligence, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? I think that, um, I think they don't do enough to correct these things. And, and when they pick up that there is a problem, they drag their feet on fixing it. And that says a lot right there. It really does. So they're claiming that they use natural language that will flag races or 
violent speech. But here's the problem. When you go later into the article, it says right here, new study shows that AI trained to identify hate speech may actually end up amplifying racial bias. In one study, researchers found that AI models for processing hate speech were one and one and a half times more likely to flag tweets as offensive or hateful when they were written by African Americans and 2.2 times more likely to flag tweets when written in African American English. So they are distinguishing natural language and African American English. So the people that are teaching artificial intelligence is just strictly teaching it African American language in order to make sure we get flagged more than anyone else. And I see a problem here. So another study found that similar widespread evidence of racial bias against black speech in five widely used academic data sets for studying hate speech that totaled around 155,800 Twitter posts. So ladies and gentlemen, we have seen offensive posts from non-black people. And you notice how those posts just stay up? They don't go anywhere. Do you remember just a few weeks ago when I guess it was a gay reporter from Vox complained to YouTube about being harassed on the platform? And initially, YouTube's response was to do nothing. Do you think they would... I, you, you, trust and believe they would do the same thing if we went and complained. They would do the same thing. They would just turn a death ear to you. But they know this stuff is going on. They have to know. They know. No one knows for sure if the content moderation system that Facebook, Twitter, and Google use to show exactly the same biases in these studies, the technologies these companies use to moderate content is proprietary. But the tech giants often turn to academics to uh, uh, for guidance on how to better enforce standards around hate speech. Well, I, I don't see what you're doing other than the same thing you've been doing historically. <laughs> okay, so all you're doing is teaching your artificial intelligence to do what we have seen historically for 400 goddamn years. Okay. Wow. So... They actually monitored something. Anecdotally, activists have for some time accused platforms like Facebook for policing the speech of Black Americans more strictly than that of white Americans. In one notable case reported by Reveal, a Black woman was banned from Facebook for posting the same Dear White People note that many of her white friends posted without suffering any consequences. Mm hmm You know, and now I agree with it, what they're saying. These are not isolated incidents. It's not. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm going to say about this. I've already been to court fighting YouTube. I want every single black YouTuber that does content to keep this article. 
And when they start kicking up dirt about hate speech, you can let them know it's already a proven fact that your algorithms actually are harsher to black people than white people that are saying similar things on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we need to see in this article? We need to see how they're going to fix this situation, which I'm failing to see in this article. Now, I'm glad these biases are being brought out because they need to be brought out. But, hey, what are you going to do about this? Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. You know, it's kind of counterproductive to whine about hate speech. And you're only looking at the black community, but you're not looking at anybody else. You know? So that is a problem. And ladies and gentlemen, just sit back you're going to find out a lot of truth coming out about all of these social media giants. I think over the next few years, there's going to be more and more people outing them. If you remember, there was a black man that left Facebook. And that was one of the things that he brought out was how they were treating black people on the social media uh, platform over there and you can best believe the same thing is going on on YouTube if you are getting hit with all kinds of things but you see other people doing much worse content they're not being touched then you can best believe they got their algorithm set up that way like I said I got a video link of someone threatening someone's life and it's still there. It's still there. So how good are your algorithms, YouTube? How good is it? How good is it? You know, none of us have threatened anybody's life, but we get cracked down on a lot worse than someone that's got a video out here that says over and over in the video about pumping a bullet in a, this person's head. Where's your algorithms? How come it's not working in that case? But it sure knows how to find us, right? That in itself is a problem. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. You, you can't expect any better from these folks at all. You know, nothing is going to change until we change it. And that's generally how it works. But I'm glad all of these social media platforms have finally been outed for what we have been suspecting all along. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and keep this article, Black YouTube. And the next time they come around messing with you, you make sure you put this right up in their face. Peace, family.